there was fire all over the place. It, it basically moved from one end of the street down to the other end within minutes. As flames engulfed the village of Lytton, residents rushed to grab whatever they could and escape before it was too late. No, we just grabbed baby food and just our kids and loaded them up and we were heading to Lillooet. Some evacuees say they had as little as 15 minutes notice before they saw the flames. Holy moly, yeah, man, the fire came and that was it. So when we were down where we were working, it was hip high and it was jumping jumping the roads and yeah, we got out of there. Many Lytton homeowners say they tried to stay and protect their houses until it was obvious it wasn't possible. The most aggravating thing is that I had the fires put out around our house and then the, the big fire came. Evacuees described seeing smoldering properties even before they left the Lytton limits. The smoke was very, very heavy. I saw two or three buildings burning on my way out. Building on fire, there wasn't much left, but uh, the uh, wall timbers and the bed of the roof, uh, the local store was entirely incinerated. Uh, it's, it's fire, it's not pretty. To be honest, I, you know, it's hard sleeping now because you just kind of replay everything that went through, and, and that's just really hard. Many Lytton residents are under the impression their community suffered significant damage. Some estimates are that 90% of the structures were burned down. Post Media has reported at least two people died in the Lytton fire, a couple who tried to hide from the flames in an underground bunk. There is no official word yet on injuries or fatalities. Evacuation centers have been set up in Kamloops, Kelowna, Merritt and Chilliwack. For Castnet News, I'm Sydney Chisholm.